Rob, welcome back. How does it feel? Yeah, really good. Thanks, Mikey. Um, really looking forward to it. When I, um, when I knew I was successful in getting the job, I was, um, I was really, really pleased and proud to be coming back to the club after my year away. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Is it a difficult decision to apply for that job? No, not at all. Um, after last year, which was, I, I feel was really good for me, um, I thought it was important then to try and progress not only myself um, further, but I, I feel like my strength is, is developing players as well. And um, so I feel that this is where I, I, I need to be at the moment going forward. So uh, it was a really good fit and something that I was keen to, to try and have a go at. Is obviously people know you from your work with the first team in the last couple of years, but I guess some will forget that you actually came back here, first of all, to be involved with the academy and help to develop players. Yeah, my first role, so when I finished playing, I was working for, uh, working, I was coming into to here and at Manchester City's academies and, and learning. I did that for a season. I was lucky enough to get offered the under-18s role here, which I um, loved. I was working with, with some of the lads now that were up with the first team and in the first team squad and, and, and others that are forging their careers elsewhere now. Um, and then during that first year, I was lucky enough to come up and work with, with Kenny and with Joe. And then I was with the first team for a few years, so that was great. Um, so, yeah, my first taste of coming into this football club after being a player a few years ago was, was working in the academy. So does that knowledge that you have of a lot of those players, some of which you've worked with already, how much does that benefit the job that you're now going to do? Yeah, I think it will help a lot. I mean, I've, so the last few years have been about winning. You know, that's almost the be-all and end-all at first team level. Of course, you want to develop players and improve players, but um, it's about on that Saturday trying to get the three points. This is a mixture of it now, a real mixture where we want to get that realism and that learning to win and to fight into them, um, which they will already have. They want to win. But it's, it's about that. It's about developing and improving. And, and you know, what, what's happened now with the club being in the Premier League, the bar's been set even higher so in order to be get involved in that first team squad now you've you've got to be some player and the journey now might take a little bit longer for some it might involve a loan it might involve being here for a, a year or so longer than than other players you know they met other players may have jumped a little bit quicker if, when the club was in the championship or league one for instance mm. so it's going to be tough but we know we as a staff have got to be better as well all of us everyone because we've got a you know, we've got to help players um, ultimately try and get to play in the Premier League. And that's probably, everyone will agree, the toughest league in the world at the moment. So it's a real challenge. We always say at uh, academy level and 23s that you're judged on the players you bring through, not necessarily the results you get. Given where you're coming from to this job, are you bringing a sense of you want results as well as you know, match results as well as getting players through results? You always want both. I think if you ask Scott what he'd have wanted last year as well, ultimately the important thing is to try and get players through into that first team. We all want to win a game because we're all competitive. We're in the game because we want to win. And, you know, whenever the lads step over that white line and they're out there playing, that's what they'll want and that's what we want. And I think winning breeds, you know, development as well. Now, of course, you learn when you lose or you draw. Hopefully, as long as we're improving all together, then that's the main thing. But of course, we, we want to win. We want to win football matches. If we're winning more games than we're not, then hopefully the manager and, or, or if it's scouts or other managers from other clubs for loans, will be looking at the, at the team and thinking, OK, well, they've got some good players there. Um, you know, if, if, if we're not, then, then hopefully then we've got good players out on the pitch that are, that are improving and being close. You know, so that's, that's, we've got to get that balance right. It's not the be all and end all to win, but, but we've got to want to do it. And that's got to go right the way throughout the club anyway, all the way down to the, the youngest kids that are out here, you know, that, that, that'll, be, that'll be in here on a Tuesday night, Thursday night and stuff as well, because ultimately they all want to win. Um, life is competitive. And, um, and obviously now we're at the business end where you've, you've got to really be the best to, to, to get that opportunity. Standards are getting higher. They have to, yeah, they are, and, and they have to, it's right. You mentioned the journey that players go on. What about the journey that you've been on? Are you, are you different with your, from your year away? Um, 
I'll have to ask some of, the, some of the staff that had worked with me over this last year as well. I will be. I mean, I've learned. You always learn. Um, and what last year gave me was um, it was a real experience of, of again, it was about the pressure on. We need to win. And, and we didn't win every week. And we had to try and learn quickly about the level and what was required. And, we, you know, we, there, was, there was lots of facets to the job that I won't necessarily have to do in this now. This would be more about the day-to-day -day on the grass and working with the players to try and develop and, and learn. In that, in, you know, in my role last year, it was, there, was, there was a lot of other stuff that went along, uh, alongside the, the, the grass. So it was good for me. Um, in terms of the actual games and the coaching and everything, we it, it taught me that I could um, that we can then it's about it was more about organisation and motivation towards the end I would say um, and less around the, the real detail and the coaching. Hopefully now we can marry up the two. So you know the organisation has, has to be there. That, that's you know that's right and that's where the first team have absolutely nailed it in this last year. They've done great. Because everyone knows their jobs with and without the ball. We'll have that. The motivation needs to be there, but also now we can really add the detail because of the quality of the players that we have in the building and hopefully we'll get as well because we'll probably recruit one or two more as well. Um, we'll be of a high standard. Is that a, a key part of it? Do you expect that things are changing, as you say, things are changing across the board, that the standard of players that you might want to bring in now is going to be of a different level? Yeah, I think that's, that's, gonna, that's obvious as well because the club is in the Premier League we all need to improve and if the lads think that we're not going to improve throughout the academy as well then they're obviously mis they'll be mistaken you know they, they, everyone's got to be on their toes and, um, and and willing to fight for their own position even you know under 18s and under 23s level like I said it, it, it is it's survival of the fittest and we know there's going to be ups and downs and uh, for these players they're young they're young men and they're still growing and they're still learning they're developing so we get that we understand there's, there'll be times where um, they may be having a bit of a difficult time and we've got to try and pick them up and get them going again. But of course, there'll be, there'll be new challenges, new players coming in and, and, and it's competitive. Um, so we'll be like every other club, we'll be looking at the best players and, and right, where can we improve? Where do we need to improve? And is it possible? If it's doable, then, then maybe we'll be in a position to try and do that as well.